Hello and welcome to this new series. This new series will explore feature by feature comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. So in today's video, we are going to discuss matrix visual in Tableau versus Power BI. So in Power BI, we have a matrix visual in Tableau. We can create matrix visual, you know, by dragging it on row and columns once we create a table visual. So here uh, you have a separate table visual, you have a separate matrix visual. So I click on the matrix visual. I will do some operations and I'll show you the same operations first of all on Tableau and then we will come back and do some more operations. So the first operation which I'm going to do is I'm only going to take only one thing which is brand on the row. And when I'm taking brand on the row, I'm going to take some values and here values are basically going to be on columns only. So I'm going to take gross sales and so I got gross sales like this. So now the brand is on the row and I can move it on column. So it start looking like this. So uh, gross sales is uh, actually now uh, still on the columns, but uh, we are not able to see because there is no requirement to have a look because only brand is coming. Now I can go ahead and add the sales value. Now, once I add the net sales, you can see both brand and this one is on column. But what happened if I want them on row? So there is something known as in Power BI show on row. And if I click that property show on row, the gross sales and net sales are here and brand is on the top. Right now, we have not used any column right now. We will going to use it, but let's first jump to Tableau and try to repeat that. So let me create a new sheet and here, let me drag brand out here. So I've dragged a brand and let me drag first major, which is gross sales. Now gross sales is there. Let me convert it into the table visual. Now I have a table visual where I have brand and I have gross sales. I can go to the make it as column and same view. If you remember, we have got when we actually had the gross sales and brand on the column. Now, what I would like, I would also like to have net sales now. Just let me drag it back. Let me drag it on the row. Let me convert it into table. So I have gross sales and net sales in the table now. And let me happen. What happens if I move majors to the column? So this is one view which we have not tried out there. What happens is there, we will go ahead and try this out. So, and then I move it to column. So now same view. So the only one view which we have missed out there is then actually we have the brand here and major values here. So we have to do some arrangement out here. We have to convert table visual and then major values. Okay. So this is, we have not done there and we will try that and we'll try a few more stuff, come back and try to replicate them on Tableau. So let's go here. Uh, so we have not tried out what happens if we move it to rows. So similar kind of view. And here there is one more stuff which we are going to do is something known as stabbed layout. So we will switch off stepped layout. So very similar structure. Now what we are going to do is now we would like to have categories also. So let me do one thing. Let me put category and category is small. So it's better that we put this in our row. Now we have categories on the row. So now gross sales and net sales are still on the columns and we are going to see category here. So you can see a different kind of look, which is there. So category is there. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and switch off that property, which is show on row. Now we have switch off the property show on row. Let's switch it off show on row and we will get majors out here. So now same thing, let's go back and try it on Tableau. What happens when we do these two couple of things? Now there is a different way to do it. Now, first of all, very simple stuff. We are going to drag the category out here, category on the columns. Okay. So we got similar kind of stuff. Let's move major to the columns now. We got it. Okay. They do a small look and feel adjustment and some property play around and everything that we can keep on doing because right click and open the properties and all those. So we got this kind of a display. Now, as you know, in uh, Tableau, if you want to do conditional formatting, now you can actually do brand wise. You could, I put a brand here and you will see all the brands. Now see the brand is in the same color. Now here, if I have to do uh, the conditional formatting, actually I have to create a color brand color. Okay. Let me see if I have the brand color out here. Yeah, I have a brand color out here. And how I created a major, I actually went ahead for each brand. I have done a color coding and I've done that. And what I'm going to use, I have done for category also, I've done for brand also, but I'm going to use the brand one right now. I have a one combined one with brand and category also. So I'm going to go to the 
in the matrix visual uh, we can only color the gross sales and the net sales one of the columns and we uh, in uh, power bi you know the conditional formatting happen by columns and in matrix visual you can't color uh, the row or the column right now option is only for the value so where this is there we i will go and open the background color for the gross sales and under the advanced control i'll go and i'll choose field value now field value is one where i can actually use a major of my choice and i will put color here and i'll say color brand so it's you see the same color is there okay wherever there is a value it's giving the same color out here okay net sales we have not colored so you have to remember that so what let me do one thing let me move out the net sales out here so that you okay so the colors are same so this is way in doing uh, you do it in uh, uh, power bi i'll just show you the major now in power bi when you do this max is basically for the row context this is how you do a color grouping so matrix visual similar kind of stuff uh, here similar kind of stuff in tableau go ahead and try out there could be more things to explore do let us know what else you wanted to see in this series thanks for watching this video thank you get involved keep asking questions in comments subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video keep watching